Okay, uh, let's look at the practice exam two, number two. All right, so you have a 10 foot ladder. Um, so let's draw a picture. So here's the wall and uh, here's the ground. All right, then uh, here's the ladder. All right, so it's uh, 10 feet there all right and placed against the vertical wall so it's a right angle there all right and suppose that the bottom of the ladder is pushed toward the wall so it's actually moving so the bottom of the ladder is moving uh, toward the wall at the rate of uh, two feet per second two feet per second Right, so that's uh, right here. Right, so length of the ladder is right there. Right, and uh, how fast is the top of the ladder is sliding up the wall? So I guess the top of the ladder here is uh, sliding up the wall. So this is what we're trying to find. Um, when the bottom of the ladder is eight feet from the wall. So at this point, this is right here is uh, eight feet. All right, so uh, let's try to give, uh, you know, uh, variables to uh, the quantities that are changing, All right? So you can see that uh, the distance between the top of the ladder and the ground is changing. So I'm going to call that guy Y, All right? And so usually I try to use Y when you have a vertical length. All right, and here, so since the, the bottom of the ladder is pushed toward the wall, so the distance between the uh, base of the building and the bottom of the ladder is changing. So I'm going to give uh, X for that. So uh, maybe I'll just say X here. All right, so uh, which means that uh, uh, we have uh, these uh, quantities given. So let's just... Uh, list the, all the given quantities given all right so we know that uh, x is 8 so x is given all right so that's because 8 feet here all right and uh, y is actually is not given but we can find it by y is equal to all right so we can just use the pythagorean theorem so we know that uh, you know, uh, 8 feet squared times y squared is equal to 10 feet squared. So maybe I should write that. Um, so 8 squared plus uh, y squared is equal to uh, 10 squared. All right. So which means that um, we can just solve for y. So uh, y squared is equal to uh, 10 square, I'm going to go ahead and write, write 100, all right, then minus 8 squared. So we have to subtract the 8 square because I put this 8 square on the other side. So 8 times 8 is 64, all right, uh, which will give you uh, 36, all right. So we can just uh, take the square root of both sides to get the y is equal to uh, 6 times 6 is 36, square root of 36 would be, right, you can say plus or minus, um, so it's going to be plus or minus 6, right, but since we're, we're talking about distance, uh, we will take the positive 6, not the negative 1, so we know that uh, it's a 6 feet here, right, so y is actually 6, right, also, uh, what's given is that the, since the bottom of the ladder is pushed toward the wall, so the distance x is changing at the rate of uh, 2 feet per second. So we're talking about the rate of change of x with respect to time t. Right. So since uh, this is shrinking, so that it's going to be negative 2. All right. Then what we need to do is uh, set up an equation uh, using um, uh, x and y. So we know that, uh, you know, using the Pythagorean theorem again, 
So x squared plus y squared is equal to 10 squared. All right? All right, so uh, let's take the derivative. So we take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to time. So we take the derivative with respect to t. All right, you will get, uh, so derivative of uh, x squared is 2x dx over dt, all right, plus derivative of 2y is, that uh, y squared is 2y dy over dt, and the derivative of uh, 10 squared, it's constant, so derivative must be 0, right? Uh, since everyone seems to have 2 in it, so I'm going to divide through by 2, so I can cancel this 2 and cancel that 2. 0 divided by 2 is still 0, so it stays at 0. Right? Then we plug in everything we know um, uh, about these uh, values. So you have x is 8, so plug it in. Uh, so you have uh, 8 here times right, dx over dt is negative 2. So put that in, right? And then you have y. We know that y turned out to be 6, right? Then dy over dt is actually what you're looking for since we are looking for the rate of change of y. So we're looking for dy over dt. Maybe I should have read, written that, right? So here, uh, dy over dt is what we're looking for. All right, so, but we can easily solve this, so you can, uh, let's see, put, so this is negative 16, all right, so put it on the other side, so it's going to be 6 times dy over dt is equal to, uh, negative 16 becomes positive 16 on the other side, then we can just uh, divide through by, I'll go here, so divide through by 6. So dy over dt is equal to uh, 16 divided by 6, uh, which is going to be uh, divided by 2, so that's 8, uh, divided by 2, 3. So three th uh, 8 thirds would be the um, rate of change. So this is feet per second, right? So, which means that the top of the letter is sliding upward at a rate of eight, eight thirds feet per second, right? That's uh, how you get the answer. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that, that this was clear.